Hello, my story listeners. How are you all? And welcome back to Story Time. Now, this week's story we are continuing on with the Harry and the Dinosaur series, and today I'm going to read Harry and the Dinosaurs Go on Holiday, written by Ian Wybro, illustrated by Adrian Reynolds. Harry was showing the dinosaurs his postcard from Auntie Ellie in Australia. Dear all, really looking forward to seeing you in the Sydney. We are going to have lots of fun. Love from Auntie Ellie. Look, he said, tomorrow we all going to Australia for our holiday. I can't wait, but I wish you could come too, Nan. Nan said, Never mind about me. Can you see Sydney? Right around the other side of the world. Pterodactyl said, I will come, Harry. Flying is easy peasy. Tyrannosaurus said, Rah! I don't like flying. Can we swim instead? But Harry said, No, that would be much too slow. Next day, they went to the airport. The dinosaurs were a bit nervous about flying and going. Such a long way from home. But Nan soon cheered them up. She gave them a special present to open when they arrived. What a lot of people! And what a long way for Harry to pull his dino case. Everybody loved going to this escalator. Rah! The dinosaur said, This is just like riding on a dipple for Doka's neck. After take off, Harry showed the dinosaurs some of the animals they might see. Tyrannosaurus loved the great white shark. Sharp teeth, like mine, he said. Rawr! And Stegosaurus liked the kangaroo. He's like me, he said. We can both whack things with our tails. Swish. Ankylosaurus said, I would like to be in a picture with a dark bill platypus because we have both got strange and interesting feet. Sam said they were all stupid because dinosaurs are nothing like Australian animals. That was why her earphone got hooked out. Pop! Ouch! When they landed, Harry showed the customs officer the dinosaur's passports. The man said, I will let them into the country if you can tell me all their names. So Harry told him and he didn't make one single mistake. Ankysaurus, Stegosaurus, Trinosaurus, Pterodactyl, Skeletosaurus, Triceratops, Apatosaurus. Welcome to Australia, said the officer. Auntie Ellie was waiting at the barrier with Harry's cousin, Alice and Tom. Hello, she said. Hats on, everyone. It's a hot outside. That night, after everyone had settled in, there was a barbie in the garden. There were possums in the gum trees and Harry helped Tom grill the prawns with dipping sauce. They were nice, but some people were too tired to eat because of jet lag. The next day, the dinosaurs were grumpy and wouldn't behave. Rawr! We want Nan, they grumbled. We don't want to go to the beach. Harry wouldn't get dressed. Then he made a fuss about the sunscreen. Mum could see that everyone was tired, a little bit homesick. I've got an idea, she said. This is just the moment to open Nan's present. Wow! A camera? 
said Alice. Nice one, mate. Now you can show Nan what we are all up to. They did lots of brilliant Australian things on that holiday. Each day was a new adventure. There were plenty of fantastic places to explore and a lot of new things to eat. Harry and the dinosaurs really enjoyed playing at the beach and watching surfers. Then they built a mega sandosaurus with their buckets and spades. The lifeguards loved it and showed everyone how to do posing for the camera. Rah! said Tyrannosaurus. Look at up, posing too. Cheese! Every day was full of fun and every evening before they went to bed, Mum helped them send photos home to Nan so that she could join in too. But what Harry and the dinosaur liked best, especially Ankyosaurus, was the day Auntie Ellie took them to the wildlife sanctuary. At last, Ankyosaurus could be in a picture with the duck-billed platypus. Three rows for the platypus cheered the dinosaurs. When the time came to go home, everyone felt sad. Never mind, said Harry. Let's pack a lot of things to remind us of all the fun we had on holiday. On the plane, the dinosaur said, Rah! We all like flying now and we like Australia. Yes, but home's nice too said Harry, and we'll be able to tell Nan all about our adventures. Nan and Mr. Oakley were, were waiting when they landed. Thank you for sending all them lovely photos, my dear, said Nan. They made me feel I was right there with you. And thank you for your special present, said Harry. Now we can always remember a wonderful holiday. And lifeguard posing, said the dinosaurs, Rah! Endosaurus. I really hope you all enjoyed this week's story. For more stories, please do like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.